Hi friends, welcome to a drop spot and today we are going to be interacting with Muna Testnet. Muna is a DEX on the Optimism BNB chain and it allows users to interact with a wide range of real world assets. It is confirmed that Muna will launch their own token with the ticker MU and there will be an airdrop for Testnet participants. So what I have done so far is to go to chain list and then add BNB Smart Chain Testnet to my MetaMask. Now after adding BNB testnet to MetaMask, the next thing will be to use the BNB faucet and then claim some test BNB tokens. So on this faucet you can claim 0.3 BNB within 24 hours. And do not worry, every link that I used in this video, I'm going to have all of them pinned in the comment section for your convenience. Now after successfully claiming my test BNB, I will then go ahead and then bridge that test BNB into test optimism BNB. So I'll paste the link to the bridge in my browser. But first connect your wallet. Now indicate the amount of test BNB that you want to bridge into test optimism BNB. And then tap on deposit. Transaction successful, now we have test optimism BNB to use for our testnet interaction. We are then going to move forward and then visit Muna for set itself to claim other test tokens. Now tap on the sidebar menu by the right and then connect your wallet. Now tap on Request Hey Testnet Token. Now that Hey has been claimed successfully, we'll then move on to the next step. So go back to the sidebar menu by the right. And then go over to the trade tab but before doing that I just remembered that I do not have optimism BNB testnet in my wallet so I'll have to go back to changelist.org and then I'm going to search for optimism BNB testnet now for you to get the testnet search result make sure to tick that checkbox that says include testnet so here we are, we have Optimism BNB testnet, then tap on connect wallet. Tap on approve and then tap on switch network. Now I am back and then I'm going to go over to the trade tab now. So the website is not yet displaying properly so you can refresh and then everything would reset now you can see it is displaying properly now and i have 100 hay balance you can only swap from hay at the moment you can't swap from any other token on this website but you can choose which token you want to swap into in this video i'll be using mapl maybe after this video i can then interact with other tokens so that i will not use too much of our time so i'll be swapping 50 hay into mapl tap on approve now you can set your custom spending cap 
then tap on next and tap on approve. Approval is successful, then tap on buy. Then tap on confirm. Swap is successful. Now you can see the change in my balance. I now have 50 here instead of 100. So I will switch over to the cell tab and I will just swap a little MAPL into hey just to interact with the cell function. Tap on approve. Set your custom spending cap, then tap on next and tap on approve. Approval is successful, then tap on sell. Tap on confirm. Selling is also successful. You can see the change in my balance. So we are done interacting with the trade tab. We'll go back to the sidebar menu and then move over to the pool tab. Now we are going to be providing liquidity. So we are going to be using the MAPL and HEY pair since I swapped into MAPL earlier. So if you swapped into another token, then you'll be using the pair of that token that you swapped into. I hope uh, you people understand this. So indicate the amount of MAPL and HEY that you want to provide as liquidity. Then tap on provide. Tap on confirm. provision successful now you can see if your provision is successful or not in case you did not get the notification by switching over to the withdraw tab and if you have open position your liquidity provision is successful so i am on the withdraw tab now and you can see my open position so i'm going to tap on that position and then i'm going to be performing a little withdrawal so i'll tap on the withdraw button now you can decide to enter the amount that you want to withdraw in figure you can type it in there or you can use the slider under that rectangle and then slide it toward any percentage that you would like to withdraw i'm going to leave the slider at just 10 percent and then i'm going to tap on approve Tap on max, then tap on next, then tap on approve. Now the approval is successful, then I'm going to tap on withdraw. And then I'll confirm the withdrawal in my wallet. So withdrawal successful so we are done interacting with the liquidity as well you can see the change in my balance then i'll go back to the sidebar menu and then i'll move over to the next tab which is the farm tab so i can only interact with the mapl like i explained earlier so i'm going to tap on that now in the long tab you are supplying and if you switch over to the short tab then that means you are borrowing so now i am on the long tab so i'm going to be indicating the amount of tokens that i want to supply as collateral
Then I'll tap on provide. Tap on confirm. Now that is successful, let me scroll back to the top and I'm going to switch over to the short tab. Now indicate the amount of hay that you want to use as collateral. I'll be using 10, then set your collateral ratio. You can leave it at 150% or increase it to 200%, which is the safe limit, but 150% is the minimum. Then tap on farm. Tap on confirm. Now that is successful as well. Let's go back to the sidebar menu and then we are going to be doing the last interaction on the test net, which is the mint feature. So here you have to supply hay as collateral and then you'll be able to mint any other token of your choice. If you don't want to mint MAPL, you can tap on that drop down and then choose any other token that you prefer to mint. But I have been interacting with MAPL in this video so I'll just keep doing that until the end. So I want to supply 4 hay as collateral and I'll be able to mint 0.014 MAPL in return. So you can either leave your collateral ratio at 150% or you can increase it. Then tap on open. Tap on confirm. So that is successful as well. Let's go back to the sidebar menu. Now lastly, if you want to see everything you have been interacting with, you can select my page and then you can see the list of all of your positions here. You can see the ones that have to do with borrowing under the borrowing tab and under the farming tab you can see all of your farming positions. So that is all about the interaction of the Muna testnet but lastly there is one more step to go and that is to complete their girls task. In total Muna have 6 campaigns that are active on girls at the moment and the campaigns are all airdrop entries, each of them are airdrop entries so I do not know whether the campaign, completing each of the campaign will serve as a multiplier or an eligibility criteria. So you want to make sure to complete all of the tasks and also claim their respective oaths and points. However, I think girls is having a bug at the moment because out of the six campaigns, even though I have completed everything, I can only claim oath for one of the campaign and I am getting error message for the remaining five. Now, even though there is no ending date on all of the tasks on girls at the moment, this testnet has been in existence since last year. I think that should be around August. So I have no idea as to how soon the testnet interactions will be ending. So I, if I were you, I will try as much as possible to make sure that I have done everything and I have claimed all oaths in case this will be ending sooner than expected. So that's all about the Muna testnet interaction. If you have any question, drop me a comment in the comment section of this video. If you have found value in any of my content, make sure to give me a like on this video and also subscribe to my channel so that you won't miss out on future updates. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in another tutorial.